So what is the primary value of a Google News site? We're going to discuss that in this video. There are really three categories of value for a site. One is operational, which means how much money can you make running a Google News site from day to day, month to month. The other is the asset value of the site. And the third category is the strategic value of the site. In the operational arena, there are a number of ways to monetize a Google News site. <clears throat> um, most people monetize using AdSense. It's the easiest way to monetize a Google News site. It's um, certainly not the, um, the, the only way and maybe not the best way as well. Other people use affiliate products. Uh, some sell press releases, others sell certain services, some people sell links because there's a lot of traffic to a Google News site, and of course there are many other ad networks. <clears throat> We're going to talk about the different monetization techniques in a future video, but this is kind of the overview of how people make money operationally. Um, the AdSense click-through rate, that means the percentage of people who come to read your article and then click on an ad uh, varies from between about 2% to as much as 4% per article. And this has everything to do with what kind of article is written, what the topic is, um, who the people are who are reading that article. And then it's also uh, very dependent on the kinds of ads that are running at that time. Uh, during certain seasons of the year there may be very competitive very creative ads that are running that Google will place alongside your article and in some times of the year there may be uh, article ads that are not so compelling and thus won't get as many clicks these are some numbers from my own experience uh, this month <clears throat> across a couple of new sites I have uh, across a, a base of about 500 articles that we published we earned about $13.70 per article. That was the total revenue, average revenue per article. Of course, we had many articles that earned absolutely nothing. And we had uh, one article this month that earned $270. Just a single article brought in $270 over the course of a few days. Um, we had uh, 16 articles from one new site that each earned fifty dollars or more and we had five articles that earned uh, over a hundred dollars uh, so <clears throat> you never know which articles are going to be the big winners uh, but it's like anything else uh, usually a lot of the money comes from a handful of the articles maybe the top ten percent of the articles make eighty percent of the money and then maybe it, that, it may not be skewed that much uh, this month was a, a high revenue month because it happened uh, during the holiday season where a lot of advertisers were spending money for ads. Um, in an earlier month, we made uh, $10.50 per article, uh, which is also very good if you look at the uh, cost basis. Um, <clears throat> you can have articles written from as low as $1.50 for a 250 word article. Um, up to really a lot of money. Some, you know, if you hire a, a high-priced, well-known journalist, they may charge you seventy to a hundred dollars for a short article. Um, but typically, the range that we pay would be between one fifty and three fifty, and more typically, we pay around two dollars and fifty cents for a two hundred and fifty-word article. So if you do that quick math and compare that to the revenues that we're making, um, profits range from 150% to about 850% per article. And this is over a long time period with many different news sites and uh, different um, writers and writing quality and titles and seasons. And of course, Google has changed over the year, but over the years, but uh, this is the kind of profit that you can expect. So operating uh, a Google News site, even if you're not doing so well, uh, typically you can make with a little coaching 
uh, at least 150% for each article that you write. That means that um, for a $2.50 article, <clears throat> you can typically make at least you know $6.25 or whatever that math turns out to be on average for all the articles you publish. Now it is possible to earn less than that, uh, but I think if you followed the advice in this course, there is no way that you're going to earn less than 150% and uh, you'll have a very good possibility of earning a great deal more. Now we're going to spend a few minutes talking about the value of the asset, the value of the website itself, regardless of what kind of income you're earning from it on a daily basis. After a new site has been accepted into Google News, and you're officially part of the syndicated uh, news resource of Google News, the site immediately on day one becomes worth about $3,000. And how do we value that? Well, I'm looking at uh, Flippa right now, and we're going to do some searches on Flippa just to show you what news sites have sold for in the past. I'm doing a site on Google News, a uh, search on Google News right now on Flippa. And I uh, just wanted to show you um, <clears throat> what some of the sites are, are currently selling for. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll look at um, historically how the sites have done. So we'll do an advanced search and look at only the sites that um, were sold um, that have the word Google News somewhere in the description. Now of course that doesn't mean all of the, these are approved Google News sites but uh, we can find the ones that are and take a look at what those have sold for over time. Um, <clears throat> so here are just a few. Um, these probably are not actually Google News sites. Uh, this one that says approved Google News site uh, most likely is, is a real approved Google News site. They're not showing us the URL there, but you see it was sold for about 3500 Chances are that uh, it didn't have uh, too much of a history in terms of sales. Um, <clears throat> again, same thing for the sports news. This is specifically a UK-based sports site which sold for $1.50. I don't know anything. I mean, $1,500. I don't know the details about it. This All Pet News site sold just recently uh, for $3,900. And I happen to know this site, uh, <clears throat> the, the owner had not been publishing at all. They were making almost no money publishing almost no articles at all, uh, which is why they only were making $78. But despite the fact that it had no track record of earnings history, uh, the site recently sold for $3,000. $900 and it's specific to the pet industry. Um, more than likely this mob boot was not a an actual Google News site. Uh, this one, another URL hidden site, um, <clears throat> sold for $3,900. Uh, so uh, we're scrolling through here. Um, I believe this uh, Muskoka News was was a Google News site. It got desyndicated, and that's why it sold for such a low price. Um, here's another one. This is a much larger site, good traffic, and so on. Sold for eight thousand dollars. All right, let me let me tell you my own personal experience. My experience is that you can create a, a Google News site. <clears throat> you can spend. Um, as little as $200 or as much as maybe $400 of total cost, uh, get it submitted to Google, get accepted, and immediately be able to sell it on Flippa, as I said at the beginning, for between $2,500 and $4,000, with an average of about $3,000 for a brand spanking new site um, with no history. Now some, like this one, presume, you know, made a little bit less. We'd need to look at the detail on that to uh, see um, why it sold uh, for a little bit lower price. 
uh, some sites that have kind of a fluky name or are in a niche that doesn't make much money occasionally will sell for less than the 3000 that I mentioned to you. But uh, most Google News sites um, <clears throat> that uh, have decent uh, names, even when they're brand spanking new, will sell for 3000 And of course here, this one was making relatively little money, less than $1,000 a month. Um, and yet it sold for ten thousand dollars so um, after you have a new site approved there are several strategies one is you can just uh, keep it and run it for ongoing monthly income that goes in your pocket uh, you can sell it immediately and expect to make about three thousand uh, dollars because uh, it's not uh, as easy to get into Google News as it used to be there are some things that a lot of people don't know um, about how to do it um, <clears throat> and uh, so the the sites have more value than they used to have a few years ago uh, or the third strategy besides keeping it or immediately selling it is hold it for a while build up the revenues just a bit like uh, in this case this person built up the revenues to about a thousand dollars a month which means he was probably earning you know who knows between eight hundred and five hundred dollars a month and yet he sold it for ten thousand so if if he had been earning about eight hundred dollars a month um, then he got about twelve months of net income uh, in his sale and it could very well be that um, the owner of this site thought it would be nice to take the 10k in profit and then go build a couple of other new sites with his profits uh, and either operate them or immediately sell them and, and actually make a little bit more money than uh, simply operating and, and bringing in this $800 a month. That's typically how the logic works on these things. Uh, so that's a little bit about the asset value. Uh, in my particular case, I'll tell you that my strategy is to operate a couple of these sites at a time and at any given moment I'm developing a couple of more uh, which I can then either sell immediately or more likely in, in my case I choose to uh, operate them for a while and show significant income and then uh, sell them for a premium and it's usually a pretty significant premium um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm quite happy to sell them if they don't sell that has never happened to me I've, uh, I've never uh, actually listed a Google News site that did not sell uh, but if for, for whatever reason that happened then I would just continue to operate it happily with the uh, proceeds that are coming in. We'll spend just a few minutes here at the end of this video and discuss the strategic value of owning a Google News website. Uh, these are the kinds of values that uh, are distinct from just operational income distinct from the asset value of the site itself. One example is I was contacted by a guy who writes a financial newsletter recommending stocks and providing other financial news to his subscribers and a few months ago he was interested in buying a news site. He thought that uh, he could write financial news related articles and on the same site he could have an opt-in list for his newsletter. So this is very strategic value and he wouldn't be too concerned with uh, earning ad money or other direct money but it helped him to build a list um, and it was a way to get traffic towards the articles that he wrote very quickly as long as they were news oriented and that traffic some of that traffic he would convert into new subscribers for his list he would then um, have some of those subscribers uh, be on his paid newsletter and others would just be on an unpaid list that he had. Uh, so it gave him the opportunity to build a list to give his own um, uh, identity a voice meaning that uh, people would see his name, see his content and articles and, and uh, began to trust him and so it was very complimentary strategically to his business and these are the kinds of things that can that you can do with a Google News site now Google seriously frowns on people who have news sites 
that are used only to promote their own products uh, because uh, in Google's eyes this does not seem like uh, a very uh, <clears throat> good standard for journalism um, if you are writing articles primarily to promote a particular product or even just to make sales uh, so if you do something like this you have to do it with that in mind and understand that your news needs to be balanced and needs to be valuable to your subscribers and cannot only exist to uh, drive business to your own to your other websites however there are many many cases of Google news sites who do something very much like this for example in the mortgage industry there are mortgage companies whose blog has been accepted into Google News and um, despite the fact that they very regularly recommend their own services in within their articles uh, Google has persisted in uh, keeping them syndicated and uh, it's been a very uh, complimentary and strategic uh, value for them to be part of Google News and at the same time um, run a business that sells mortgage products. So thanks for listening in. Uh, in the future videos we'll get into the details about how to get started with Google News.